Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Recently, we got a yard dumping cart from our friends at Gorilla Cart. It came delivered to our house. We opened the box, laid out the parts, assembled it, and we've begun to make use of it around our place here. We'll take a look and see if this cart really makes sense to add to your set of yard tools for your yardscape. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here. You are looking at Gorilla Carts model number GCG7 Poly Dumping Cart. This is one of several models that that company makes and uh, you can find those listed in the description below. We went through this cart as we built it. We'll show you a lot of details on it and so you can make a decision of whether it really is additive for your setting. Now, before we do that, I want to tell you a really quick story about how this video came to be. We reviewed, not too long ago, a competing cart from another national brand. It's a two-wheel cart, more a dumping cart. And one of our viewers wrote in, uh, who happens to be, oh, in our age group or a little bit older, and said, you know what, that's not my preference, that cart you reviewed. But I'll tell you the one I'm really crazy about is the Gorilla Cart. That cart really works really well for me. I recommend you contact that company and see if they'll send one to you for you to take a look at so you can share with my fellow viewers. So that's what we did. We contacted them in Minneapolis, St. Paul area in the United States. And wouldn't you know it, not only did they respond, but they respond spectacularly because the president of the company reached out to me and said, we would be pleased to send you a cart. We're gonna comp you one. You are free to say whatever you wanna say about that cart. We want you to be absolutely honest. We're proud of it. And we do a lot of testing through all of our consumers and focus groups beforehand, but we think you're gonna like it. So who does that? What kind of major company reaches right out to you, the president company, but Gorilla Cart did. Kudos to you guys. So he sent us this cart and even though it's comped, we promise to give you an absolutely unbiased view of this cart. I'm gonna warn you though, overall, we do think it's a great product, but after we walk you through it, we'll let you be the judge. Well, let's begin. The first thing we're gonna do though is show you the assembly and how it comes packaged. So the product arrives in a nice box and with a bit of muscle, it's manageable to handle. When you open the carton, it'll reveal all the contents nested together and poly bagged. And after taking off that bagging, all the parts are ready to lay out. And that's what we did. Here are all of them laid out along with the instructions and everything's ready to go together. The assembly pictogram is easy to follow along with as well. A really nice touch that they did is the hardware is carded and it's number coded to match the corresponding steps on the instructions. How cool is that? So we begin with installing the H-shaped undercarriage frame. Square-headed bolts are dropped through the holes in the poly tub. Here, I'm pointing at one of the mounting holes we'll use, and my thumb is next to one of the bolt heads that have already been installed. Notice how the recess will hold the bolt when a nut is being tightened onto it and how the bolt head will not protrude above the poly tub surface. When the four bolts have been finger tightened, let's cinch them down. Then it's time to attach the main frame. The next step is a bit finicky though because it is possible to install the hardware incorrectly. You will need to install the spacer washer on the side of the H-frame exactly as I've shown you here. This washer actually serves two purposes. First, it creates a space between the stationary H-frame, and this avoids having metal-to-metal -metal contact as the bolt pivots. Here you can see the frame getting ready to be put in position for the bolts to be inserted, and then you can see the bolts installed. After you complete that, it's time to install the rear axle assembly, and it'll take four bolts to do this. I'm pointing to one of the bolt holes, and one already has the bolt put in, ready to be tightened. Notice that there are two more attachment points at the bottom end of the angle braces. Now, all four bolts are installed and torqued correctly. 
Now it's time to install the wheels. Pulling off the shipping caps will reveal a hole for the wheel retaining clip to be installed after you slip on the wheel. Once the wheel is on, place the wear washer on the axle and then install the retaining clip. Now you can turn the cart over on its wheels and it'll be easier to work from that point on. Now it's time to install the dump block on the front of the tub. Locate the four holes on the front of the tub and place the lock on the tub front surface and align the holes. Insert the bolts from inside the tub while holding nuts in the hex shaped holes in the lock. Be sure you put washers under the heads of the bolts that are against the inside of the tub. Once the lock is properly positioned, tighten all the bolts. All right, we're almost there. Now let's install the handle. It takes one bolt, but it's possible to put the handle in the bracket upside down. The way you want to think of it is you want to position the handle so that when it's upright, it'll be leaned against the tub and the handle will tilt in over the tub and stay in position. Insert the bolt, washer, and nut and cinch it down. The pull handle is affixed to the front of the handle tube with a pin and keeper. To convert the cart so you can pull it behind your yard tractor or ATV, remove the pin, slide back the handle, and then use the pin and keeper to attach the cart to what you'll be pulling it with. I'll demonstrate more about this function later. Let's go ahead and point out a few things for you. If you start at the front here, let's look at the wheels themselves. You can see that they're fully pneumatic, uh, that you inflate them right here. The wheels, as we showed during the assembly, are easily serviceable, can be taken on and off. It's also easy to put a drop of oil from time to time in the wheel here. And the diameter and the softness make it so it has less rolling resistance. And since it has all four wheels, it really does have a nice stance. So all four wheels are attached the same way, but notice that while the back two are on a stationary setting, the front two are on a full pivoting axle setup and this setup allows you to actually kick all the way around and, a, and do a zero degree turning radius. You don't have any kind of wide roll around. You can just kick back right on itself, which makes it really handy for maneuvering around to get up next to things or when you're parking it against a, long, a wall or something like that, it works out very well. As for the way the handle is set up, it's beautiful. The size of this yoke here is really nice where if you had to put two hands on it and pull a heavy load, it's gonna work really nice. But it also fits well in the hand and is easy to grasp and it feels very comfortable. And as I pointed out in the assembly instructions, it's very easy to convert this from this nice pull to where you can attach it to a yard tractor, let's say, by simply removing the quick pin like this, pulling that back, letting this drop back and then that is ready to go back in as you see. So as we mentioned a little bit ago, make sure when you put the handle tube in that the bend goes back over the top of the poly tub. And the reason for that is so that this will lay correctly and stow nicely without wanting to fall down and be down in the dirt. That's the good stow position like that. One of the hallmarks of the Gorilla Cart line is their dump function and how they designed it. Let's show you something really cool that these carts do. The poly tub is secured to the chassis by both the pivot points on the back, but also this latch on the front, spring loaded. And when it comes time to dump the load that is in the cart here, you're simply gonna lift here and lift the tub. And as that occurs, watch what's happening to those back tires. That back set of tires kicks in, gets closer, and actually what happens, the tub gets lighter in my hand, and then finally, notice that back edge. Securely on the ground, the load completely dumps out beautifully. How cool is that? All right, now that you've emptied the load here, you simply go ahead and lower it back down, bring down the cart tub, and boom, click it in and you're ready to go. Another really nice feature that Gorilla Carts design is the set of pockets that are along the edge of the cart, along the front, along the other side, but not on the back over here so you're not to impede the dump function. Now these pockets are really nicely designed because look at this. Can you see right there? There's drain holes in them. 
They're deep enough that if you wanted to put in an accessory little sidewall to jump up the capacity of the cart for light, fluffy, bulky materials, you could do so. And a screw could be driven right through the side of this to hold them in place. So these are really nice. If you look down along the side of the cart, you can see that these are pushed in a little bit, that's kind of bowed in a little bit. Well, that's taken care of when you put a load in it or if you put that accessory wall on there, that'll work just great. Well, we think this is gonna be a really nice workhorse around here. It is rated to carry well over a thousand pounds. And as I said, Gorilla Cart has several different models, smaller and larger. Visit the links below and you can look and see what they have available for you or visit your local retailer. They usually carry the big box stores, several models of these carts. Well, we think overall it was a great value. This cart goes at our local Home Depot for about $168. I've seen them online for that up to around 200. And for what you pay, we think you get a great value. It's well thought out. The features work well, the assembly went together really well, the instructions were clear, and the fit and finish looks really, really nice. If you decide to purchase one of these carts, either online or at your local retailer, I have two recommendations for you. Number one, put some of the slime in the tires, that is to help them so they don't get flat or if you get thorns in them, that you don't end up with a cart that's limping along on three wheels. Just help the cart help you by uh, servicing it that way to begin with or putting that preventative in there. Secondly, this is a nice cart. Don't leave it out in the weather. Sunshine with UV is really hard on these types of materials, whether it's powder coating, the rubber on the tires, or the poly in the tub. And give it the respect due and keep it as nice looking as you can for as long as you can so it will serve you a long time. Parts are readily available for this cart. I went and checked them out at GorillaCarts.com to say, hey, look at if I bust that handle or I bend the wheel or I need to replace a bearing or whatever, are they all available? Yes, they are at very reasonable prices. So not only does the initial purchase look like it's very positive, but we think the years of service will go well as well. If you found this video to be helpful or you have things that you would like to offer as well, please say so below. And better yet, would you like our video and then like our channel and that allows us to help continue to do these kind of videos. And if you do subscribe to our channel, make sure to ring the bell so you'll get notified right away when we put out other videos of this kind. Hey, thanks for joining us today. And if you decide to get one of these, we think you'll enjoy it. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.